the tenth Sunday after Pentecost, year A. From the Gospel according to Matthew, take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. In the name of the one whose love casts out all fear, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This week's readings invite us to imagine ourselves down in the pit with Joseph, sitting there with our own terror, our own loneliness, our own sense of either sudden betrayal or final materialization of long-held dread, <laughs> whichever seems most relevant to us in the moment. Let us listen to what Joseph has to say, knowing with Paul that by calling upon the name of the Lord Joseph and we ourselves will be saved. But first, before the calling, we want to believe that God knows what exactly needs to be transformed here. We don't need a God who only helps those who help themselves. We need a God who can help us even when we don't even know where to start. And how Will Joseph believe in one of whom he has never heard? And how is he to hear without someone to proclaim him? As disciples, as those who are sent to bring good news, we need first to be taught that good news ourselves. If that news cannot reach us in our own pits of betrayal and despair, how can we hope to bring it to others? Likewise, the problem with Peter wasn't that he got out of the boat, but that having gotten out, he took his eyes off Jesus, letting himself get distracted and frightened by the wind and the water. Once he turns back to Jesus, calling, Lord, save me. Jesus catches him. Now, if you think that Jesus catches Peter, a full-grown man, just by reaching out his fingertips and saving him with a distant handshake, you've got another thing coming. I mean, I suppose Jesus could have done it that way, being omnipotent and all that, but it makes far more sense to understand that hand as a stretch to pull Peter in so that Jesus can wrap him in an embrace that not only saves him, but assures him that he's not out there alone. Let us that likewise take heart. For the one beside us is Jesus, who knows us, and loves us, and is always with us. In the name of that same Jesus, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.